Yo, what's going on, everybody? That's right, the boxing source checking in, and this is an update to the whole fallout with Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. And this, well, my goodness, we had not only Frank Warren sound off on this, you had Tyson Fury sound off on this as the whole fight has fallen apart. Now, you had on IFL TV, Frank Warren going into detail on how everything kind of went down as far as like how this particular fight looked like it was going to happen on April 29th and then all of a sudden it all got shot down. Well, he was talking about the whole thing between him and Alexander Krasniak in reference to the terms for this particular fight and how the whole thing with the rematch kind of said, you know what, everything is shot down on that. Now, Frank Warren, you know, did mention that, you know, at this particular time, they could have had the fight on April 29th, as long as it was in the UK. But it seemed like Usyk's team wanted to push for it to be over in Saudi Arabia. But Frank Warren was saying that, hey, Saudi Arabia on April, not going to happen. That it wouldn't have been ready for them to have that fight in Saudi Arabia until December. So that's why you had this potential fight going to end up happening in the UK. But then you had the whole thing about, oh, the 70-30 split, the whole thing with, you know, donating a million dollars to Ukraine. You had the whole thing about, oh, well, maybe you could have a rematch, but the rematch would have to be 70-30 in Usyk's favor if Usyk won. But hey, it was going to either that be that or it would be just a 50-50 split in the rematch. But it seemed like, you know what, they, the Usyk teams didn't look like they would budge. And Frank Warren kind of specified that, you know, when they were talking, you know, on Talk Sport that, hey, you know, it's not really an issue of what was happening there with Queensbury Promotions, what was happening with Frank Warren, what was happening with Tyson Fury, and he said, it is what it is. Well, that kind of like means that, hmm, pretty much the thing got shot down because of Alexander Usyk. Now, with, with that pretty much being out there, and that is what, you know, uh, Frank Warren was talking about, then you had the whole thing with Tyson Fury on his Instagram where he went off on Alexander Usyk pretty much cussed him out. Usyk, you little shit house, you proper little shit bag, bog eyed, gappy teeth, ugly little rat bastard, you little slimy fucker. Tried all week to get out of it, begging for a rematch like a little girl. You got your rematch and didn't even want to fight at that. You was never man enough to tangle with a gypsy king ever in your life, you little shit house, you little fourteen stone coward. You little shitbag, you rat, little bastard. And your full team know it as well. And all the lawyers have got the full information. You little ugly bastard. Keep running. Fight your part of the copper box now, shitbag. And always know that you or anybody else like you could never tangle with the Gypsy King, you shithouse little coward. Now that comes from Tyson Fury, and he is absolutely livid in reference to that. So, uh, as you know, Tyson Fury said... And as Frank Warren said, the option for Alexander Usyk at this particular point is now to go up against his WBA mandatory, Daniel Dubois. Yeah, there was mention, some mention of Alexander Usyk potentially facing Deontay Wilder. And Frank Warren was talking about that, saying that, hey, Deontay Wilder was over in Saudi Arabia when you have the Jake Paul, Tommy Fury bout. But, you know, the thing about it is, it's like, hey, if the mandatories are there, if the mandatories uh, have their uh, spot, then Yontay Wilder can't skip them. And that's what Frank Warren was talking about. He said, hey, Daniel Dubois, you know, was ready to go. He'll end up being ready to go to face Alexander Usyk, injury or no injury. So this whole thing about Usyk versus Wilder, well, Frank Warren said, hey, y'all going to have to go through my people first. So 
hey, you're going to have the negotiations, I guess, between <laughs> Krasniak uh, and Igis Klimas <laughs> once again with Frank Warren in reference to a fight between Oleksandr Usyk and Daniel Dubois. And like Frank Warren said, Usyk is going to make just a fraction of the money that he would have had if he just agreed to all the terms to face Tyson Fury. Now, I mean, this is like a crazy situation. I mean, you got a whole lot of blame back and forth. I know that, you know, we talked about this uh, the other day in reference to the initial report of Fury versus Usyk being shot down. But now, now you got the fallout and it is crazy. And um, you're going to, you'll continue to see a lot of finger pointing over the rest of the week, probably through the weekend. But, you know, like I was saying, <laughs> if you have all of that, you have all the stuff uh, fall apart in reference to the undisputed heavyweight championship match. Now you got the thing there where, hey, Alexander Usyk has to honor his mandatory challenges. And like I said, pretty much it's in order. You have the WBA, Daniel Dubois. You have the IBF with Philip Herkovich. You have the WBO with Joe Joyce. And we know Joe Joyce is facing Zelay Zhang for the WBO Interim Championship. So he's out. So that leaves Daniel Dubois and Philip Herkovich. Philip Herkovich stepped aside. It looks like for a little bit or whatever it is. And now you have Daniel Dubois. And Frank Warren said Daniel Dubois is ready to go. He'll be ready to fight Alexander Usyk. So that is what's going to end up happening here in the heavyweight division and who knows where Tyson Fury is going to go at this particular point but I still have a little inkling that he could still fight somebody once again in a rematch but that's a whole nother story hey that's what I got in this topic if you like this you can hit the like button there and uh also if you haven't done so already you can hit the subscribe button for the box of sorts we really appreciate it on that note folks i'm out peace